You're listening to Zen Sandwich. Well, one of the things I want to ask you about is a buzzword or phrase you hear a lot these days. You guys mentioned it once or a little bit earlier is uh, imposter syndrome. And you address it um, that it, at times in, in Mariah, in your career, it's uh, um, been inhibiting or limiting to you sometimes. So what, describe what is imposter syndrome. I mean, we've, we've sort of been describing it a little bit. Uh, why does it happen and, and how can we get out of it? Well, I have an actual example of this, Mark, that took me by surprise because I started writing with Byron and first of all, prior to 21, I just assumed that my writing was like everybody else's. It was okay. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that I wrote as well as I do. And so for me to step into this role as author Mm -hmm. and be able to be a writer that gets their work published different places. It it was a real surprise. It took me by surprise. And so I had to step into because I was really good at nursing. Mm, (laughs) (laughs) But I can take care of just about any kind of patient population. But becoming an author was totally a foreign thing. And I had a couple times early on where Byron had to come in and convince me like, okay (laughs) you really do know what you're doing here Mm. but the imposter came boom right right to me and said hey what are you thinking how could you even begin to think that anyone would listen to your writing first of all and what makes you think you're good enough Mm. so that was a surprise and, and it was perfect for this book because i had up close experience and very recent And the way I was able to address it was by continuing to push through, look at what my results are, realize that I was authentic and I really did know the material that I'm talking about. I'm really comfortable within this this subject field. I probably wouldn't be able to talk to you about how to fix a carburetor, but (laughs) (laughs) but talking about these self-care tools I'm pretty comfortable with and I do know that they are something that will help people and they work. Why that happened? That's a good question, but I know that it does. Does it happen to you? Have you had that examples too for that? Or imposter syndrome where I was, sure, this podcast. I mean, like there are, uh, I mean, I have a lot more confidence with it now. I'm a lot more comfortable with it now, but you know, I started from scratch and every time I had to learn something new, which was everything, everything <laughs> from sound editing to marketing to video editing to what well, preparing for interviews and, uh, you know, all of it was so overwhelming and daunting that I thought, what am I doing? I didn't go to school for this. I didn't go into journalism school. Uh, I'm not Joe Rogan. Uh, you know, I, I can't do this. Of course, of course, all those, those thoughts crept up but uh i guess the you know if it's like the the little angel and the little devil on each shoulder you know the the little angel or i don't know which one is which in this scenario but that kept someone one of them kept telling me do it just keep doing it just keep doing it but nobody's listening keep doing it but i'm not uh, i don't have any sponsors yet keep doing it doing like it. i just keep doing it and that's what i've done and you know it's a year it's beyond a year now and Finally, I am seeing the the fruits of my labor and, uh, you know, it's worth it. And I'll, I will keep doing it. I hope I'll have to be doing it five years from now, maybe beyond. Oh, so, good. We'll be able to come back on yeah, when we'll we yeah. have three or four books under our <laughs> yeah. belt, right? Each, each edition of the uh, the series there, you're welcome to come back on. Yeah. That'd be fun. You know, um, Mark, I'll, uh, let me toss something in here. For those who uh, have this imposter syndrome, and that describes most of us at one hmm. time or another, if it's any consolation at all, it, Albert Einstein had imposter syndrome. Mm. So we're in pretty good company. He said yeah. he was, uh, some kind of a swindler. Uh, yeah, involuntary swindler, I think he called <laughs> himself. Yeah. 